25, we're in Jack Trice Stadium on the campus of Iowa State University for today's great game. Let's head down to the coin toss now. Brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Carlson is on the field to kick this one off, and everyone in the stadium is ready for this game to get started. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. It's a great play by the defense, but it really makes you wonder, was there a miscommunication up front by the offensive line? They just seemed to allow the defensive line to get through, and the running back didn't have much of a chance at all. Second and 13. Ball on the 22. Screen pass. He's got his half back. Tackle made right around the 36-yard line. You obviously have to worry about him as a ball carrier, but he showed here that you have to be concerned about him as a receiver as well. He's got good hands, and you know he's good in the open field. And they get nice yardage on that run. Second and six. Ball on their own 40. And he's leveled at the 39-yard line. They don't get back to the line of scrimmage there on the option keeper. A loss of one. hit before he could go anywhere. Zips it out to his runner, and he's got him again. That's a loss of about three. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. Certainly, they don't have the return on here. Arizona State's coaching staff, they know they've got a star wide receiver. They know it's going to be a hostile environment. With that, we went to practice this week, Kirk. They had a crowd noise pumped up pretty good getting them ready for this game. Yeah, they've done everything that they can do to get this offense ready for a tough environment. They had the crowd noise all week long, making it tough to communicate for the quarterback and his receivers. Now it's here. Now it's the game. We'll see if all that preparation pays off. One thing we know for sure, they want to get the football into the hands of this receiver early and often if they want to win this game from their own 44-yard line. Second down. Throws out and through his hands. So the offense fails to pick up the first down. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. They'll bring him down right around the 20. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 20. Right 
more yards gained. You don't have to throw it deep to have success. Any sort of completion can help boost an offense's confidence. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. Fires quick, he catches another. And he's tackled right around the 28-yard line. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. Pretty good job by the return man there. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. And he's taken down at the 43. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 43. Strike to his receiver, no good. Throws incomplete, broken up. Now it's going to be fourth down. Nice defense. That was picture perfect three and out. Good series for these guys. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. He's taken down at the 26. You know, a lot of people in college football might find these types of games boring, but you look at the start of this game, this is good old-fashioned football, partner. I agree with you, Brad. I think sometimes you look at games, and if it's sloppy offense, that's one thing. But when you see two defenses go out and play with a great deal of emotion and dominate a football game, sign me up for that every time. Every drive is important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. He's on the run. Brought down at the 48. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. From their own 48-yard line, first down. And they make the stop at the 48-yard line. Second and ten. Makes it out to about the 39. Just a simple draw play there, but they picked up some big yards. From the 39 yard line, it's first down. Hands off to the right and is brought down in the backfield. That's a great play by the defense. There's nothing like a defense being able to slip off of a block, get into the backfield of the offense, and then make a play in the backfield to be able to create some momentum possibly for this defense. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. That makes it fourth and four. Iowa State is looking to go up by three. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he splits the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. 
The Cyclones are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Right? Well, you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on, and what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? It's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Second down and five. Ball on the 30. There's a the play fake. Throws quickly and it's almost intercepted. He was that close to making a big play. His safety is kicking himself for dropping that one. Quick throw, almost intercepted. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. Porter is back to receive. He really got a hold of that one. And he's tackled at the 24. Got to wonder right now which offense is going to open this thing up a little bit. I think the answer will be which offensive coordinator is willing to take a chance or two to try to open some plays up. Because right now, not only are they losing the battle up front, but they're really not testing the defense downfield at all. Iowa State is up by three. Down he goes, around the 34-yard line. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. He's out of bounds at the 28-yard line. Call a loss of six yards on the play. Third down. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. From their own 46 yard line, first down. handoff he makes it out to maybe the 46 yard line the entire defense just collapsed on that run and got penetration into the backfield nice job by the safety to clean up the mess this one is incomplete down and they need to get it inside the 44. He sails it long. He got it. Huge gain and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. up through the air has made it first and goal. Iowa State is up a field goal. Touchdown, Cyclones! He makes the PAT. So that's a seven-play, 76-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. The score now, 10-0. Gilbert gets set to kick this one away. He'll take it from the two. 
And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. Iowa State's looking awfully impressive right now in defense, but we are in the first quarter. Yeah, this is about a dominant first quarter that we have seen in a long time. But let's see if they can continue to play this well throughout the rest of the ball game. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. He's taken down around the 37-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 37. And they push him out at the 36-yard line. Hand off inside, and he's quickly brought down. Third and ten coming up. Ball on the 37-yard line. Quick throw. And he hits him hard at the 44-yard line. Carlson to punt. Porter fields it at the 13, and down he goes at the 22-yard line. This offense just torched the defense through the air with a great passing attack on their last drive. And it was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. Tackle at about the 25-yard line. Gain of three on the play. That makes it second and eight. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. So at the end of one quarter, the Cyclones in front, 10-0. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Here's third and eight. Ball on their own 25. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He's tackled at the 32-yard line. Brad, it's a, it's a first down. And, and a, obviously, this offense right now is trying to maintain possession, trying to get some rhythm going. And for them to be able to pick up a big first down right here allows them to continue to try to get to the position that they ultimately want to get, and that's into the end zone. Short pass, middle of the field. Tackle made right around the 40. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. That makes it second and six. It's second and six. Ball on the 49-yard line. Caught, and he's hit immediately. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He's under some heat. He goes downtown. Quick strike, and it's caught for the touchdown. What a 
a strike for the score. And he did a nice job of looking off his defenders. And he adds the extra point. It was an eight-play, 78-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Johnson from the one. He's tackled at the 29. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. Number six makes the tackle. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. They'll bring him down at the 39. First down. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. Six. It's second down, six to go. Ball on their own 43. They get it out there on the toss. And they get nice yardage on that run. They try to get a head start there. They'll line up for another third down play because of the penalty. Well, here you're in a third down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. From their own 43-yard line, third down. Caught with room to work. He goes out of bounds around the 45-yard line. They'll get two on that one. The defense respects this guy and knows they have to pay a lot of attention to him. He didn't have any room after that catch. Carlson is the putter. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I gotta say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Here we go! Caught out in the open, and he's taken down right around the 28-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And he's tackled at the 26. And he's level at the 18. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. Oh, excellent punt. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. The Sun Devils have got to find a way now to get the football in this guy's hands, and 
I think about basketball players and a jump shooter. If you can't get him the, the ball, get him to the free throw line and get him one free one from 15 feet, Herbert. I agree with you 100%. I mean, this is one of those games where the defense has just been suffocating. They've taken this wide receiver out of the game. Uh, this offense has not been able to come up with some answers. I would continue to fight as an offensive coordinator and a play caller to find different ways to get this receiver a touch. And all it takes, Brad, as you said, is just one play to maybe create that spark and get this confidence established for this offense. They're about four yards away here on second down. Knocked out of bounds at the 33. First down. He fights forward to about the 33. From the 33 yard line, it's second down. On the counter, Russell down behind the line. to his receiver, no good. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. It's away and it's a booming punt. This one's gonna be down in the end zone for a touchback. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's good for a that makes it second and six. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on their own 24. Brought down around the 25-yard line. Five wide. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. Still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Runs outside for a nice game. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He's going to try and scramble. Slides down to the ground. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what, in today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. And they make the stop around the 35-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. immediately tackled.
Throws complete, he's got space to work. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. From the 17-yard line, second down. Straight up the middle, and he'll lose yardage. Quick throw, incomplete, wanted his receiver. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. Kicks up, and they tack on three points. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Cyclones are just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. The offense will be hoping for a little more success than they had the last time out. His receiver dropped it incomplete from their own 25 yard line second down they spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers he sails it long the defender had his hands on it but it's incomplete After a decent pickup, the defense punches them off the field after just three plays. That was a short round, Brad. Nothing seems to be working right now. Perkins is waiting for the snap. He's to the 40, and he's taken down at the 42-yard line. So they're just about set to get the game going again. He's on the run, and down he goes, around the 47-yard line. Fires that quickly, incomplete. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. Second and 10, ball on the 47. Makes the grab and steps out right away. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. First and 10, ball on the 30-yard line. He scrambled. Now he's going to run and watch out. And they push him out at about the 13. So with the half ending, they're just going to try to put three points up on the board. The kick is up, and it is good. We played a half of football. The Cyclones in front, 17-6. Up.
Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This is Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Maybe the most important statistic from the first half, no turnovers for either team. So far, a good job of ball security, but now you wonder if the quarterbacks can avoid putting the ball in jeopardy. They're going to want to make a big play, and that might sort of set off a feeding frenzy on the defensive side. Yeah, and it's in, in defenses, that's the number one priority. I mean, you can give up a lot of yards. You could, They can chew up yards up and down the field, but if you can force turnovers, then you're keeping them off the scoreboard, and, and that's your number one goal. So I, defenses, they, they have to be a little bit upset right now, and they got to try to find ways to to hit harder. How about when you're tackling? Use the strip stick. You know, be able to strip the ball out, get the ball out, try to get some interceptions, try to make some user picks, you know, do whatever you can to try to get the football back from that offense and set your offense up in good field position. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20, and down he goes at the 27. Everywhere we go in college football, everybody's got a T-shirt that says finish, finish, whether that means finish the game or finish the drive. Right now, this offense is moving the ball, but they're not finishing the drive. they got to execute better down closer to their opponent's territory. A little counter, but he goes nowhere. He never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on their own 26. Going left on the counter. And they'll bring him down behind the line. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. Third and about 13 yards. Ball on their own 25. He's taken down at about the 33 yard line. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. Good job by the return man there. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. He makes it to the 35-yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. And that was the sophomore linebacker there who was able to get in and make that tackle. From their own 35-yard line. It's second down. And he is drilled at the 36. Fires out to his wideout. Tackle made around the 41 yard line. That'll make it fourth and two. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He makes it out maybe to the 26 yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They'll 
bring him down at the 29-yard line. It's second and seven. Ball on the 29-yard line. Scrambling around. Decides to slide. I'm telling you, quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. They give to the tailback. He's tackled at the 49-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second down. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Tackle at the 49. First down. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. He rifles it. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. This unit has quick hands, and they showed it there by knocking away the pass. So it's fourth down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. It's up. And he got it. Great snap and a perfect hold. And he just had an awesome follow-through. Everything went right there on that long field goal. 17-9, Iowa State. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. Iowa State holds an eight-point advantage. And he's tackled around the 34-yard line. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And he's taken down at the 44. Makes it to the 47. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. On the ground with the tailback. Gets to about the 47-yard line. the handoff and he's brought down right away so it's fourth down and the offense is still on the field and the goal line defense digging in here brought down at the 45 
down as he works the left for a nice game. That's a game that makes it second. And this play is number eight on the drive. Iowa State up by eight. Nice run, and he's brought down. From the 34-yard line, it's first down. Deep pass to the end zone, and he's got it for the touchdown. converts the extra point. A nine-play, 76-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. So our score, 24-9. to nine. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Gets out to about the 21. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Now he's scrambling. Room around the corner. He's out to the 30. And they make the stop around the 37-yard line. First down. from their own 37-yard line. First down. He's scrambling. And down he goes, right around the 48-yard line. That makes it first and 10. On play action, he'll scramble, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. It's second and ten. Ball on the 48. He's going to try and scramble. That's a great tackle at the 47. That's good for five yards. That'll make it 35. hit immediately so they're gonna go for it here he gets out to about the 42 yard line so now the offense comes back out hoping for the same success they had on their last drive and it was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. There's a very impressive open field tackle. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line.
Pass complete and taken down immediately. From the 42-yard line, second down. So at the end of three, Iowa State in front, 24-9. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Check 13. Check 13. Get that quarterback. Get on the edge. Where's it out to the right to the halfback? Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 34. I like how the offense is using the pass to get him involved. He's explosive, and you just want to get the ball in his hands. First and 10. Ball on the 34-yard line. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. He's on the run. Got an opening. And he hits him hard at the 24-yard line. Third down. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Inside the 10. He can run. And he adds the extra point. Iowa State gets set to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 28. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Now he tries to buy some time. He's taken down around the 33-yard line. That brings him second and five. It's second and five here. Ball on the 33-yard line. He scrambled. Tackle made at the 33. He was lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage on that scramble. It's third and five. Ball on the 33. Out of bounds around the 35 yard line. Play fake looking to run. They'll bring him down around the 39 yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 39. Scrambling around. He's tackled at about the 45. That's a game of six on the way. That'll make it second and four. Right, 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 right. Two down, two down. Hey, check five, check five, five, six, five, six. Close it out. Fires it out. Tackle at about the 33-yard line. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, 
He made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. From the 33-yard line, first down. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Number five on the tackle at the 28 yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Up the middle. And he makes it out to about the 27 yard line. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. And he's tackled around the 10-yard line. Tenth play of the drive. He gets rid of this one. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Go and it's caught for the touchdown. This team has so many potent weapons. It's tough to try to single out just one of them to stop. And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two point conversion. He's scrambling. They don't get it. It was an 11 play, 72 yard drive, but the failed two point conversion keeps it a six point score. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. He's to the 20. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Fires quickly to the tight end. He's hit and taken down. This guy is so versatile. You can use him at the line as an extra blocker or send him downfield like another wide receiver. Either way, he's a great resource on every down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 44. Hands it off on the delay. Nice run there. Gain of six on the draw play. Gets to about the 27 yard line. From the 27 yard line, it's first down. He tackles him for a loss. Good discipline here by the defense, stringing the option out and plugging the running lanes. That moved him back. Gets to about the 27 yard line. That's a one on the way. That brings up third and ten. 
Third down now. They need to get it to the 17. Pressure got to him, and he put it on the ground. The defense scoops it up. He's into the open field. He's at the 20. The 10. Touchdown, ASU. They'll go for two in this situation. Conversion is good. Arizona State kick this one off. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. Well, let's see if the offense can make up for the misfortune they had just a few moments ago. I know as a quarterback, it's always hard to watch the defense score a touchdown on you, but it was always a reminder to take extra care of the football. He steps up. And they finally knock him out at the 38. This is definitely going to be pass interference. However, I'm not sure who they're going to call it on. That penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. It's first down and a lot. Iowa State is up by eight. There are flags all over the place. Here's the call from the head referee. Defense. And the defense gives up some free yards to the offense. Uh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. They line up at the 14. First down. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Pitches, and he's got room, and he's taken down at the 29-yard line. From their own 29-yard line, first down. Quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball in the 29. Just over two minutes in the game. Brought down at the 40-yard line. I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. They give to the tailback. He makes it to the 42-yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. There's the junior cornerback making a very solid stop. Anytime your corners can contribute like that against the run, it gives your defense another advantage. He makes it to the 45-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. From their own 45-yard line, third down. On the run. 
He's finally tackled at the 29-yard line. Well, that's another first down, Brad. That's the fifth first down on this drive. You know, they're, they're, this offense isn't hitting a lot of big plays, but they're very, very consistent with their execution. It's putting a lot of pressure right now on this defense. Nice run up the middle. Brock gets about four yards on the play. From the 25-yard line, second down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. And this is the 10th play of the drive. So this one's final. Very well played by both teams today. 31-23, Cyclo. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.